Koya uh, Relifer. Um, I'm an artist, a Seattle artist. Um, most of my work is around, I, I use a variety of different mediums. Today I'm, I'm going to be working with uh, soft pastels and watercolor pencils um, and recreating one of my favorite icons, uh, Peter Tosh. The reason I do art is really it started as a form of expression. Um, I think in I, I started my youth as a uh, um, working with sketch diaries and uh, expressing my feelings going through school um, through art and that has continued throughout my life so whenever I feel inspired to I, I start drawing or painting or wood carving or a variety of other different uh, mediums. Um, I was introduced to Onyx through some friends. Uh, Shervon um, introduced me to the Onyx and it's been a blessing so, ever since. Today, I'm going to start working on, like I said earlier, I'm going to start working on my icon, Peter Tosh. Um, and we're going to work and see how this is going to come out. A lot of things that I've been doing lately before I start is I try to capture people's, um, or uh, my character's uh, essence. So I don't necessarily use the traditional colors of the picture. I'm not trying to do a matchy for match. A lot of times I like to use shapes first to kind of help me with the outline of uh, what the picture is gonna be looking like. So here. if I need to edit it, I like, I work in layers. So if I feel like I need to edit anything, this is the quickest way to make sure that I'm in line with what I see in my head. Now, Peter Tosh um, is my favorite whaler because he was more of a warrior out of the whalers. Bob Marley is the one that people remember the most, unfortunately, and Bob Marley was very revolutionary, but Peter Tosh is kind of like, he was, dis he was done wrong, really, between uh, Bob Marley and uh, Bunny Whaler, so his, uh, his career kind of went to a sour turn. But his kind of thing was like, he reminds me a lot of um, Fred Hampton and uh, Stokely Carmichael and any of those, but he did, his ideas were more towards in music. So he was them. If Fred Hampton was a singer, he would have been Peter Tosh. <laughs> um, unfortunately, Peter Tosh was assassinated and his story, unfortunately, got buried. Most people remember him more for like the weed and not so much for the lyrics that he gave. So that's why I've been like really into like focusing in on him lately. I'm actually pretty new to pastel. It's a new medium that I've been practicing lately. Same thing for watercolors. When I think of Peter Tosh, I definitely think of green and yellow. I think that's the color of his essence. Kind of settle the chalk for a second so I can start. Like I said, I work more in layers. I actually have the depth, so this is just more kind of an outline. And so now that I kind of have a basis of what the background is looking like, I'm trying to mold it into the actual picture. And it looks probably weird right now, but it's gonna start molding into something. We hope. <laughs> this is usually where I kind of fix like the proportions after I kind of based the, the um, the, the base down, and that's when I'm starting to kind of really pay attention to how the proportions are. Art's right, supposed to be that expression where you're just supposed to, it's your only last form of freedom.
lot of layers to get the picture to come out the way that I visualize it. I struggle with being a layer style artist. Almost there. A lot of smudging involved. <laughs> this is a very messy project. <laughs> All right. it takes a lot of layers to get the picture to come out. The way that I visualize it. I struggle with being a layer style artist. Doing the shadowing and the lighting. Alright, almost there. Hey, the fun part. A lot of smudging involved. <laughs> this is a very messy project. <laughs> And you have to wait <laughs> after spraying the uh, hairspray down or you'll ruin your, your uh, pastels. So this is definitely more of a rougher fish, um, rougher look. Uh, again, it's focusing more on the, his essence and less focusing on like the, the uh, aesthetic or the, the, the look. It's weird because usually I've always done art that's like uh, mimicking like um, Renaissance and trying to be as exact as I can with acrylics. But as, uh, as time goes on, I find that I like the rougher, unfinished look. And that captures more of the emotion and less of the, uh, of the look. Okay. Um, again, it's a rougher look. Uh, not an exact re replica of the original um, picture, but um, more capturing his essence. 